Welcome back to the Valley of the Old Farm for episode 41 with me, Mr. Sealy P. So as you've just seen, I've ploughed in the side bits here on field 81 that I'd left because I did the two extensions and I had the bits that were left that were between the extensions and the original field. When I bought the original field obviously it hadn't been ploughed, it had wheat in it already so that's now being ploughed by the quad track using the SPSL9 from the big bud pack and I have been busy, <laughs> pretty busy I'll be honest. Um, getting straw swaths off the fields. Field 63 um, over by the farm has been harvested of its wheat. All the wheat has gone to Gypsum's Bakery and Mr Gypsum of Gypsum's Bakery was so happy, ecstatic in fact, with the work I'd done, the extra wheat that I'd produced and given to him. Um, I got a bonus, quite a big bonus and an investment. An investment in the expansion of Sussex Farm because he wants to do business with me here on the Valley of the Old Farm and also on Sussex Farm and also to continue work um, here on the Valley of the Old Farm. So I got a million pounds. <laughs> he was going to pay me about 750,000 he'd originally said or 300,000 then that went up to a bit more because I said I could provide more um, and then he said he would invest in machinery, fields, anything I needed for, for the expansion of the farm. So I got a million. I was on 800 and something thousand so when you say you had a million that's still not right that's because I bought this this little beauty uh, Mass Ferguson 87 37 400 horsepower this is the black edition um, and I like it a lot because the T8 went over to Sussex Farm with KJ Wiggum's trucking um, I thought, you know what, I need another fairly large size, uh, large horsepower tractor, but not something up in the 600 horsepower bracket, somewhere around 400. The T8 was 435. Um, I did think about going for a Case Magnum, but I went for this instead. So, yeah. Now, what I've got on the back is the Stroutman um, loading wagon. 
and this is the last 50,000 litres I'm going to be collecting. All the rest of the straw swaths. I've done field 63, I've done field 69, I haven't touched 75, and I've done a few strips off of this. I'm not going to do any more, and that seems like quite a waste. However, when you look into the silo, I say look into the silo, uh, we'll scroll, oh, I'll scroll across. I've got at the moment 638,000 litres of, of hay, 487,000 litres of grass, 757,000 litres of straw now, because I, I had some in there already, about 198,000. So I've taken off of those fields a huge amount. With this 50,000 litres I've got in the back of the Stroutman, that's going to put me up to 800,000 litres of straw. Silage next to it is 313,000 litres, which is in storage, but in that bunker silo there's another 500 and something thousand litres. So that's going to put me up around 800,000 litres of silage as well. So in my head, to get me through this year into the next year, that's plenty. I'm not going to have to worry anymore. So this is the last load of straw I'm going to be taking back to the farm for this season. Um, the harvester has moved over to field 5, or over up to field 5 up the top of the map up near agro life um, because field five is ready to harvest but none of the other fields are just yet so the plowing will continue i will plow for field 81 field 75 and field 69 need plowing and then i'm going to get the uh rayboard xylo i'm going to take that over to next to field 63 over by the farm and i'm going to take out the trees in between um my grass fields and field 63 and I'm going to grass field 63, which will in increase my grass and hay making, um, well, production, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that would be absolutely perfect. Um, this tractor's got a nice bit of oomph to it, I do like this. Um, I know I've got the red version of this on, um, I don't field farm. Um, I've had a couple of comments left and... Uh, my own family have been commenting too which is unusual not on my videos just to me generally um i have not forgotten about oakfield farm i will be doing more episodes on oakfield farm of course i will um this one like i said is going to be kind of wrapping up in that the harvest will be done this is my second year i'm not going to go through another winter and start another season on here this this obviously this farm will continue with whatever farm manager i put in charge I want to get all the harvest done, I want to see where we stand and then I'll probably be moving most of my efforts over onto Sussex. But Oakfield Farm is also continuing as a Let's Play for anyone who's concerned. Um, because I'm running three at the moment, trying to fit a kind of schedule in to do three um, is proving trickier. Um, but there will be episodes coming, don't you worry. The corn is looking impressive. When I'd showed it in the last episode, I was on the ground and you couldn't really see when I finished unloading this we'll swing around and I'll show you what I mean it just seems to go on it's just a sea of green um, so as far as silage goes I did say when I first planted the corn um, into this field here as you can see it sweeps off down the hill um, when I planted all of that I did say I would probably do half corn half silage That said, I've got 800,000 litres of silage. I don't need it, in all honesty. Um, I might just do corn and sell it. Or I might, I don't know, I might do half silage. I'm not too sure. Um, it's a bit of a dilemma, really. It will take quite a long time to do a silage harvest on it. And I seem to end, the last few Let's Plays I've done, I've ended on a big silage harvest. Um, I could do it and sell it. But the thing with silage is, doing a big silage harvest and selling it all with your conveyor belts and stuff is a good way to make money. But I've made a load of money on forestry on this map. That's why I said before, different map maps you can make money in different ways. I don't need to make money doing silage on this map because I can do forestry on this map. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do on this one yet. Um, but sunflowers will be done soon over there in amongst the trees. And then field two, which is my other field of canola up in Canola Corner, hopefully will be done soon. Then the soybeans. So I'm going to do all the harvest and all that, and we'll see where we go from there. So this needs to go. The trailer needs to be parked up. I'm going to need the fence. 
because I don't have front loader attachment on this and the Xylor is set up for a front loader. Well, I suppose what I could do... Mind you, I need the front loader to get it down so I could take it into the, the workshop and configure it to work on the three-point link. I could do that, that way I get to use the, the black edition a little bit more. I really like it. Um, I might need to do that. Let's have a think. Let's get this down here first. Just to so show the versatility of the ray board. I've still got bales up in here as well, so I can carry on making um, TMR. I was thinking actually of getting the big, the pecan, um, and just doing a, a mass sort of load of TMR. So it's all in the silo, it's all good to go. Maybe, we'll see. It's in my head, I was thinking a couple more episodes on the Valley Old Farm carry on with Sussex, get Oakfield Farm carrying on but realistically let's drop that there this could be uh, god I could have another 4 or 5 episodes out of this actually, thinking of all the things that need to be done it's a bit scary so where did I put this eye wall? up here I think there we go yeah so anyway the investment um, from Gypsum's Bakery which is pretty impressive I have to say um, it does give me some options um, I know I took some walking around money with me on my crossover episode which my accountant was not happy about but this investment's come from elsewhere this isn't money that I've made so what I think I'll do is if I need to buy a couple of fields on Sussex farm I can use the investment from here to do that and this is what I'm talking about them being kind of crossover episodes running both concurrent uh, the Valley of the Old Farm and Sussex at the moment are running hand in hand hand in glove one of them I don't know something like that um, drop it off there and pull that out of the way uh, so yeah I mean I'm not going to transfer a ton of money over but I'm just thinking I'll look for a field maybe get one I've got right customise I want that for three point yeah so customize it for three point linkage that should be customized now so what I need to do is grab this uh, to put on the front or the back so if I put it on the back I can treat it more like a plow then I do need to cut down some trees okay. stick it on the back link for the time being It still be not hasn't got the yeah I don't know if this is have the flexibility I need but it does get it up off the ground so I'm thinking of getting one of these for um, for Sussex farm because I've got that plow the jimper which is a bit of a pain for transporting around this will work as a plow it's narrower but you can plow faster so again you've got that kind of how do you go which way around you do it it's a very handy, versatile and compact piece of equipment. So yeah, I might do that. Lots more ideas buzzing around in my head. I have been asked as well. Not asked, there was a, a, a comment made actually about... Um, about the fact that my kind of original videos, when I first started out, before I started doing kind of storylines and narratives, was just me playing and I would use different bits of equipment and talk about how, like, how I use them and why I use them and that kind of stuff and the person that commented and said can you not go back to kind of doing that that's why they liked my videos and what they kind of started out watching it for and I've kind of I, I kind of said in the comment that my channel ha it has evolved the way I do my videos has evolved it has changed and it's not going to be to everyone's cup, cup of tea it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea to everyone's liking pick one of those phrases whichever one you want um, that's better.
what I thought I would do, get the plough bit down as well. So as I'm doing this, I can plough the gap between the two. Get rid of the kind of bushes in there. I know there's a few dotted around here and there. So I can do the ploughing between the two, get rid of the bushes and... Into the ground like that. Uh, and then take the trees out at the same time as well. Now a few different people have commented on various different maps saying the Rayboard Xylor won't work on the map they're on. It will take out trees, it will plough, but it won't get rid of the bushes. And the thing about this is it will only work on a map where the, the map makers have um, kind of programmed in the bushes are, will be removed by this piece of equipment. Um, most standard maps, or, or as far as I understand this, and I could be wrong, when, when, when um, modders, map makers put in bushes, trees, things like that, they're just standard kind of generic bushes and trees. These particular ones that Black Sheep Modding have used, or have programmed to be used, are, have been programmed to work with the Xylor. That's the whole point of it, that you've got removable hedges and stuff. Not all maps have that. So even if you've got the ray board, it might plough, it might cut down the trees and do exactly what it should do, but it might not do the other bits that you, you're hoping for. It might not take the hedges out. So just a word of warning. I know a couple of people have messaged and said it doesn't seem to be working for me. Um, that could be why um, the map you're on is just not programmed to do it. It's actually working rather well. It's incredible how much of a difference it makes to the landscape. When you start doing this and all of a sudden the trees go and you can look right the way across, it looks so different. There's a few different YouTubers out there that are playing on this map at the moment and you watch their videos thinking, that's weird. I don't understand it, mine doesn't look like that, but then you forget that how much you've changed it during the Let's Play. So you, I have, but you know what I mean? Okay, one more at the end. I don't know whether to take the ones out the other side. I'm just thinking of... Well, just to be fair, if I'm doing grass, it's not going to make much difference, it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll all be good. technically need to do this strip in between unless there's any bushes on it only because it's grass already so it's only really I was just trying to take the bushes out in between which I have succeeded in doing I think pretty much all along turn that off put the plough bit away there we go this should be good now I don't think I need to bother with um, there's a few well, uh, that'd be alright. Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother ploughing this field because it's just going to be grass growing in it anyway. And you can get the different fertiliser states. I don't think, because ploughing only lasts for three harvests, it doesn't work with the grass fields, I don't think. I'm pretty sure you don't do three cuts of the fields, then have to plough the whole up and regrass it. I don't think that's how it works with the grass. Could be wrong, of course. I'm going to do that. So I can come back over and regrass it, so it's not a problem. This is where the fence line was, isn't it? I think that's what why there's bushes here. I'll leave this there. Okay, right. 
that is that done now. So that can go back. Down into the cedar. Get grass in that. That's brilliant. What we'll do now, I think, grab a trailer, get ourselves over to field five, and we'll give a bit of a hand to the harvester. And that is harvesting on field five. Yeah. Plenty of wool piling up there. Womble Way will be happy. Um, right, let's dump this off. Grab the avalanche again. Kind of made sense. Three, five. Seems to be going pretty well, I think. From the message that just came up, the harvest is nearly full. So I need to open the cover. I don't put the pipe out. I'm not unloading into anything yet. So I'll get alongside this before it stops. Ah, uh, didn't quite make it. So, canola. All seed rate going in and just over the rise here, it's filled two. That's its last growth stage. Although it looks like it's ready to harvest, it's just not quite there yet. So that'll be next. So what I'll probably do is leave the harvester up here. Might put it into the BGA, just stick it there overnight with the um with the massive Ferguson and the Avalanche, and then I can do that as a priority next and then yeah we'll see how we go from there i'm going to need to lease a smaller harvester to do the sunflowers in amongst the trees because this is way too wide um even with a small header on it's too wide so i need a smaller harvester with a smaller header to do that plus i'm going to, need to get a corn header as well aren't i to do the corn on field 52 53 51 52 i'll get it wrong every single time Now a lot of the fields are showing as harvested, the ones that I don't own, because they do the, the winter kind of 
I haven't done it. But looking in uh, in here, if I look at wheat and barley and canola, we've got another planting season. Canola can be planted as soon as I go into this next stage. And then wheat and barley, autumn one, because I've got wheat off the field already, off the fields and they're being ploughed now, I can get wheat back in again, pre-seeded, ready, that will sit over the, over the winter and then that will come out growing early again. And that's why I'm able to be harvesting now in late summer rather than autumn because these fields were the ones that I bought that had been pre-seeded by other farmers over the uh, over the autumn so I think I might do that again actually I might do that on all my all of my farms it's that weird kind of I'm still although we've seasons have been out a while now and a lot of people have been playing using seasons a lot there are still a lot of little idiosyncrasies to, to seasons that I'm not either I'm not using correctly or I haven't used I haven't used any geos yet so I haven't tried to change kind of how the seasons is working so there's a lot of stuff still to be done on it but that's going really well okay right I'll leave that to get on I'll see you back here in a bit when this is nearly full again and we'll see how we get on with this hopefully this will get cleared in this episode Plowing's going well, that's now moved from 81 over to field 75, so the case quad track is now plowing that. Nice. Field 5 is done. Didn't take too long actually. I think, what have I got in here? 14, 5, 4, 8. Oh, did it go past? Oh, I don't know. So it'd be 14, 5. I don't think there's quite 14.5 in this. Might be 14, something like that. Let's see. Like I say, all this is probably going to stay here. Only mind what now? 20 to 4 in the afternoon. Late summer. Um, I might. What was the price looking like for. Where are we? Canola oil seed rape. 916 at the lager house. It's not fantastic. It's nearly a. Th <laughs> Be nice if it went over a thousand. Might leave that, see if the price goes up. So this could probably go into storage. I've got 26 in storage already. I've now got another 28 here. So it's over 50,000 litres. So if I waited until the price went over a thousand, that'd be 50 grand. That's not bad at all. So let's close the cover and what I'll do is take this up the hill and we'll just drive into the biogas and we'll park this up overnight. The ploughing is still going on but I'm going to have to keep an eye on that because the, uh, the worker keeps stopping and doing random bits at the end of the fields and so every now and again I've had to go back over and just sort of tidy up which is not unusual. Plowing is never a perfect thing when you've got the AI workers working away for you. I should oh, this go? That should do, shouldn't it? So I just pull it up and put it into a little barn here out of the way till tomorrow morning. Probably not the best idea in case it gets damp overnight, but seems silly driving all the way back, unloading it, come all the way back again, just to put more in it in the morning. Right, let's put this here for the time being. Nice tractor. Um, okay, uh, what do I need to do now then? I need to get... Actually, do I, need to, I just haven't checked recently. Did I use all the digestate or did I bring more over here? Have I got any left over here? I really can't remember what situation was.
Oh, 118,000 litres in here. That's rather handy. Well, okay. I forgot I even had that. Good news. I'm trying to think what to do now. What job can I do next? I'm just waiting on things, aren't I? There's not really a lot else I can do. Oh, I know what I can do. I know a job I need to do. Right. I need to get over to the orchard because the manure pile is dropping and I've got loads at the uh, at the farm. So if I grab the little Massey Ferguson, get over there with the trailer and then... Actually, I can go straight through the field. And, and then I'll get a load of manure over to the orchard. That'll be the next job. And then I think probably the next time I'll see you is going to be early autumn, I think. And I should have some more fields ready, hopefully. Actually, before I get over there, let me just have a look in the store. Harvester-wise, let's look at prices and sizes. I mean, to be fair, I think I've got the... Uh, there's the Fortret. I could lease a Fortret, or I could lease Massey Ferguson. What's that going to cost me? 4800 That's going to cost me 3000 Uh If I go for... 10000 yeah, that's a lot of money, isn't it? Um... Just a small harvester with a small header, one of the small helianthus headers. Or well, I can get away with the corn header actually, that'll do some flowers as well, won't it? Small helianthus header, how much is that? 2000, small corn header, 1000, okay. 2000, that's not too bad. Um, I'm just thinking for doing the sunflower uh, in the woodland. Just thinking ahead. Right, let's get on with what I was going to do. In the little Mass Ferguson with the Mass Ferguson 110 or 114. You think I'd remember by now what I bought? 110, I know it was the 110. Let's get the beacon on. Hang on, is there another back go? No, probably not. It's probably the most straightforward. It seems daft going all around the houses for no apparent reason. It's on this side of the road, don't I? Remembering what map I'm on. Before the corn was uh, planted, you could just do a quick whiz straight across the field. And it didn't matter, we just went straight over there. Now all the corn's here. Not straightforward, although I can just come across here. Like that. So the grass has been cut. That does look so different there now. Now the wheel loader's gone. I've got the bucket for the telehandler, so I'll do it with that. Nice. Do -do 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 -do. Where have I put it? And what I might do at some point, depending on whether I do decide to do a silage harvest on part of the cornfield, is this I will take all out of this silo um, and put it in storage. I might as well, rather than leaving it in there. I have got two silos over there I could use, but I'm just thinking if I free up this silo and I do do the corn harvest on the field right behind me, it's easier to get it off the field straight into this bunker silo than it is going all over there and you know, just makes more sense.
funny, the bucket on the front of the wheel loader, the uh, 435S, the JCB, didn't look anywhere near as big as it does on this. I suppose that's to be expected. Right. So probably full with just this one load, won't it? It's only a 10,000 litre trailer, isn't it? I suppose it might have been easier just to drive over the telehandler with one bucket load, wouldn't it? But not as much fun. Lovely. So, let's get this over. I'm thinking we might be at the end of an episode, I think. Need to wait now for fields. I think it's a probably an obvious time to end this episode. Otherwise, I'm going to s kind of skip time forward to the next day, ready for the next part of harvesting. Um, and I'll start a harvest at the end of an episode. It just seems a bit weird. Okay, so we are at the end of an episode. I've made that decision now. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it. We've got a few more jobs done. We've got a new tractor. Um, we've got a bit of funding, some money to help us over on Sussex Farm as well much thanks to uh, Gypsum's Bakery, thank you for that oh, I shouldn't have done that um, if you have enjoyed this episode give us a like, if you don't subscribe yet please do, if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please, be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching <laughs>